Hello everybody, welcome to the 7th episode of the Learn, Create and Draw webinar series brought to you by the Technicolor Creative Studios Academy. I am Nikita Lobo and I am a Global Training Coordinator here at the Academy. I will be your host for today's webinar and it is so great to see so many of you join us here today. Stick with us till the end of the webinar for a chance to win some amazing goodies. This webinar series has already had six very informative sessions and today we are going to dive into the exciting world of rigging. Before I proceed, I'd like to introduce you to the Technicolor Creative Studios Academy. The Academy is best known for its hands-on exposure to the intriguing world of creative technology, where artists learn a great deal about VFX at absolutely low cost. The Academy works remotely and recruits artists from various disciplines from all around the globe. The training sessions are facilitated by seasoned artists who have worked on some of the biggest projects in the industry. Over a span of four to fourteen weeks, the courses train artists in cultivating the skills necessary to succeed in the industry. Through virtual classes, artists grow their abilities through a practical approach using frequent assignments and consistent feedback. Before we get to the main event of this webinar, allow me to take this opportunity to formally introduce our speaker for today, Subhu Adaki has over 15 years of experience in rigging, technical development, and tool development. He is currently employed as a rigging trainer at Technicolor Creative Studios. He has previously worked on films such as Boss Baby, Bilal, Once Upon a Warrior, Margadera, and Robo, as well as TV shows like Beware the Batman, and commercial projects such as Cupidon and FIFA. His interests include sketching, palm reading, listening to music, singing, and dancing. He takes delight in learning about the current developments in his field of expertise because research and development is one of his strongest suits. We have a chat box where you may ask us questions so that we can provide you with the best support possible. Any questions you have on the subject are welcome, as are any struggles and experiences. Your questions will be responded to as and when they come in by Subhu and crew. Hello everyone, my name is Subhu Adanki and I am Rigging Trainer at Technicolor Creative Studios. So today, we are going to discuss rigging. Rigging is the process of creating a digital skeleton for an object or a 3D model, allowing for movement and animation. It is an important step in VFX and animation pipelines. Rigging helps to bring 3D characters and objects to life by adding movement and emotions allowing them to interact with the environment and other characters. This enhances the storytelling aspect of movies, making them more engaging and immersive for the audience. For example, rigging provides a reference for match move to track the movement of the characters in the scene. Accurate tracking helps to integrate the CGI characters seamlessly with the live action footage, making the scene appear more realistic. Some of the recent advancements in VFX rigging include the use of machine learning algorithms to automate certain parts of the rigging process. The development of advanced auto rigging tools and the integration of real time motion capture systems with rigging software for more efficient animation. As you may know, blockbuster movies like The Jungle Book, The Lion King, and Godzilla have set the bar high for high end rigging work, which is crucial for rigging 3D characters to life. There are several types of rigging in VFX and animation. Character rigging, prop rigging, creature rigging, vehicle rigging. Next, let us talk about evolution of rigging pipelines. In the past, manual rigging was a common practice where riggers would create each rig from scratch. However, in recent years, with advancements in technology, rigging has shifted towards more procedural approach. Procedural rigging involves creating a set of rules and algorithms that automatically generate the rig based on certain parameters, which can speed up the process and allow for greater consistency in the final product. Examples of procedural rigging tools include Rapid Rig and the Setup Machine. Now, let's talk about the use of Human IK and Motion Capture for QC. Human IK is a tool in Maya used for rigging and animation. It can be used in combination with mocap animations for quality control checking. By applying the mocap data to the human eye carry, it is possible 
to check for any issues or errors in the rig. Ensuring that the final result is accurate and meets the desired standards. It can reduce great amount of time and animators receive the good functional rig as the first pass to start the animation. The Jungle Book, The Lion King and Godzilla are recent movies that used high-end rigging techniques to bring their characters to life. In The Jungle Book and The Lion King, the realistic animal movements were achieved through motion capture technology and advanced rigging. Similarly, in Godzilla, the monster's movements were created using combination of motion capture and keyframe animation techniques, allowing for realistic and dynamic movements. These movies demonstrate how advanced rigging and animation techniques can enhance the storytelling and visual effects in modern cinema. Moving on to our next example, let's discuss The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book is a movie that used advanced motion capture technology to create lifelike movements of its animal characters. Process involved capturing the movements of real animals and then applying the data to digital models of the characters. The rigging process was used to add controls to the models so that animators could manipulate them in a natural way. This allowed for a creation of more realistic movements and expressions. The use of motion capture and advanced rigging techniques helped bring the characters to life in a way that would have been difficult to achieve with the traditional animation method. The result was visually stunning film that was widely praised for its innovative use of the technology. To do high-end rigging work in VFX, one needs to have a combination of technical and artistic skills. Here are some of the essential skills to become a good rigger. Knowledge of 3D software, understanding of anatomy, programming and scripting skills, problem solving skills, attention to detail and communication skills. Now, let's have a closer look at the rigging process for a human character. To rig a human character, the process involves creating giants in the proper locations, creating controllers for easy manipulation of the rig, skinning the character to the rig to ensure proper deformation and adding additional features such as blend shapes or corrective blend shapes. The rigging process mainly involves following steps. Check the line flow of the model. Rigging process starts after the model is in good shape. Create control objects for the rig and ensure they are easy to use for the animators. The control should be intuitive and follow the movements of the character. Add secondary controls like sticky controls to the rig for the subtle movements such as muzzle deformations, facial expressions and clothing movement to make the character feel more natural and alive. Perform checks on the rig, such as global transformation and broken hierarchies. Use the mocap animations also for testing the rig with human IK. Fix any issues found, such as body parts not following the torso correctly. Ensure only one top group exists before publishing the rig. At the academy, you will not only get to learn 